I built this boat and there's no reason why you can't do it too. I'm here at the beautiful Manton Dam, Northern Territory. It's a beautiful day. I thought I'll bring you for a bit of a spin in Barry the boat that I built myself at home with these, two of them. Yeah, so the story behind the boat, I um, bought the plans off a guy from Queensland, which I'll, um, I'll put in the little, across the bottom here, his website. His name is Mark Bowditch. He's a good bloke. He, um, when I was looking for plans, he was the only one that really designed plans that looked like a modern, sort of, you know, nice looking boat. All the other ones were these chuggers, like displacement hulls and stuff like that, which I wasn't really interested in. I um, gave Mark a call. He's always happy for a, for a chat and uh, any advice that you need or any information, he's always happy to give it to you. So yeah, he was a wealth of knowledge, which was good. So yeah, I bought the plans. Um, they're pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. You just mark out the shapes of what you need on the ply, cut it all out with your jigsaw and um, glue it all together. It sounds easy. It, once you get the hang of it, it is pretty easy. I, I'm a chippy by trade, so all the carpentry aspect of it was easy for me, but I'd never done fiberglassing before, so that was a little bit of a learning curve, but there's like a, um, a group that you join, and you, as you go along, you can post your photos of what you're up to, and then um, they'll, if you've done something wrong, you can guarantee that someone's gonna say, hey mate, this is not right, you should have done it like this or what have you, you know? So that was really handy. And uh, yeah, it took me about seven months. I built it in a little shed. Probably no, you wouldn't want to go any smaller size shed than what I had. It was a bit of a nightmare, but I really wanted to do it. So I made it work. Uh, yeah, it took me seven months of all my spare time. And uh, I just, I was addicted to it. I just, every chance I got, I was out in the shed making up resin, doing sanding, whatever it took to get it done. And uh, yeah, overall, I've been very happy with it. It's nice and light, easy to, um, easy to handle. I can launch and retrieve it by myself. Yeah, it's been a little ripper of a boat. All right, I'll do a couple of little tests. One will be how quick it gets up on plane. And then the other will be a top speed test for you, just to see how quick and nimble this little boat is. He's fast. He's really, really fast. I mean, he's so fast. Righto, here we go. Up on plane. There it is. I love the Tohatsu, it mainly starts nearly every time, first time, every time, almost. But well, I didn't start earlier, I had to jump in in the water up to about waist deep in croc infested waters, but that doesn't matter. She starts most of the time, that's the main thing. Anyway, yeah, it hums along pretty good, it's nice and quiet. And yeah, I get it serviced maybe once every two or three years whenever I get around to it. And yeah, it hasn't, it hasn't really missed a beat. So I'll give you a bit of a walkthrough of the boat. 
I would say she's 14 foot. I originally had the little hatch up on the top here, but I, um, I got rid of that and I've put this uh, flooring over it. Just gives you, I found people would want to stand up there all the time, so I just thought, you know, why fight it? Let the people do what they want. So instead I um, changed it and I cut a hole through here and put a hatch through the side there and that keeps everything nice and dry. I'm pretty happy with that. Then we got another little storage hatch here. Just uh, anchor and stuff. Come down the back. Got these two hatches on the sides. Got my battery in there. Got some other knickknacks in here. In here, I've got my fuel filter and whatnot. You can store your rods and gaffs and stuff along the side in there. Out the back. You can climb up your little ladder to the top of your ladder. Hmm? Alright, thanks for watching. If you guys have made it this far, I'm surprised. No, but thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, check back in if you like over the next few months. I've got a lot of time off, so hopefully I'll be doing some adventures and uh, hopefully young Barry the boat here will uh, feature in a few of them. Alright guys, thanks again.